you're probably still defaulting to ChatGPT for everything, and honestly, you might be missing out on AI models that could actually work better for what you need. I've spent months testing Google's new Titan AI against GPT-4, Claude, El Llama, and Mistral side by side on real tasks. And here's what surprised me. There's no single best AI anymore. Each one has a specific superpower that the others just can't match. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So in this video, I'm going to break down exactly where each AI model shines and where it falls flat, so you can stop guessing and start using the right tool for the right job. By the end, you'll know exactly which AI to reach for, whether you're coding, writing, researching, or building something creative. Let's start with the new player everyone's talking about, Google's Titan AI. Google Titan AI. Google's Titan AI represents a major shift in how we think about language models. Unlike traditional transformers, Titan introduces what Google calls neural long-term memory, essentially giving the AI a way to remember and reference information across much longer contexts without the typical performance drop-off. In my testing, this made a noticeable difference when working with lengthy documents. I threw a 50-page research paper at it and asked follow-up questions, about details buried deep in the middle. Where other models started hallucinating or forgetting key points, Titan kept the context intact. But here's where it gets interesting. Titan's strength in long-form comprehension comes with a trade-off. For quick, snappy creative tasks, it actually felt slower and more methodical than some competitors. The real standout feature is its integration with Google's ecosystem. If you're already deep in Google Workspace, Titan feels almost native, pulling context from docs, understanding your drive organization, and connecting dots across your workflow in ways that feel genuinely useful rather than gimmicky. GPT-4 Comparison Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, GPT-4. OpenAI's flagship model has been the benchmark everyone's trying to beat, and for good reason. In terms of raw versatility, GPT-4 is still incredibly hard to match. It handles creative writing, complex reasoning, and code generation with a kind of fluency that feels almost effortless. Where GPT-4 really separates itself is a nuanced instruction following. When I gave all five models the same complex, multi-step prompt with specific formatting requirements, GPT-4 nailed it on the first try more consistently than any other model. That reliability matters when you're building workflows around AI output. The downside? Cost and availability. If you're on the free tier, you're limited in how much you can actually leverage GPT-4's capabilities. And compared to some open source alternatives we'll discuss in a moment, the pricing model can add up fast for heavy users. Wait until you see how El Llama stacks up on that front. It might change how you think about this entirely. Claude Analysis. Claude deserves special attention here because it's genuinely carved out a unique position in this space. Anthropic built Claude with a focus on being helpful, harmless, and honest. And that philosophy shows up in practical ways when you use it. For long-form content analysis and writing, Claude is my personal go-to. It handles 200k plus token contexts, which means you can feed it entire books, code bases, or research collections and have meaningful conversations about them. I tested this by uploading an entire startup's documentation and asking Claude to identify inconsistencies. It found issues that would have taken me hours to spot manually. Claude also tends to push back more thoughtfully when you ask for something problematic or poorly defined. Some people find this annoying, but I've found it actually leads to better outputs. It forces you to clarify what you actually want. The character and voice it maintains in creative writing also has a distinct quality that some users prefer over GPT-4's style, Llama Deep Dive. This next part will surprise you if you haven't been following the open source AI movement. Meta's LLAMA models have completely changed the game for anyone who wants powerful AI without ongoing subscription costs. LLAMA 3's larger variants are legitimately competitive with GPT-4 on many benchmarks, and you can run them locally on your own hardware. Let that sink in. 
No API costs, no usage limits, complete privacy over your data. For developers, researchers, and privacy-conscious users, this is huge. The catch is the technical barrier to entry. You'll need decent hardware. We're talking a GPU with at least 24 GB of VRAM for the larger models, and some comfort with command line tools. But the community has made this increasingly accessible. Tools like Olama and LM Studio have turned what used to be a weekend project into a 10 minute setup. And once it's running, you have an AI assistant that's entirely under your control. Mistral Breakdown Mistral is the dark horse that keeps surprising everyone. This French AI lab came out of nowhere and started releasing models that punch way above their weight class in terms of parameter efficiency. What makes Mistral special is speed. Their models deliver responses noticeably faster than comparably capable alternatives, which matters more than you'd think in real workflows. When you're iterating on code or brainstorming ideas, that snappiness keeps you in flow state instead of waiting around. Mistral's mixture of experts architecture also means you get strong performance without needing the massive compute resources that models like GPT-4 require. For businesses looking to deploy AI at scale, this efficiency translates directly to cost savings. Their API pricing undercuts most competitors while delivering quality that's often indistinguishable in blind tests. Head-to-head -head results. So after all this testing, here's my practical breakdown of when to use each model. For coding and technical tasks, GPT-4 and Claude are neck and neck, with GPT-4 having a slight edge in generating boilerplate and Claude excelling at explaining complex code bases. For long document analysis, Claude wins hands down with its massive context window. For creative writing with specific voice requirements, GPT-4 tends to nail the tone more consistently. For privacy-sensitive work or offline use, El Llama is your only real option among the top tier. For speed and cost efficiency in production, Mistral deserves serious consideration. And for deep Google workspace integration and memory-intensive tasks, Titan shows real promise. The smart play isn't picking one, it's knowing when to use each. Conclusion and CTA The AI landscape is moving faster than ever, and staying locked into just one model means you're leaving capabilities on the table. What I'd recommend is picking two or three from this list that match your most common use cases and actually building them into your workflow. Drop a comment below telling me which AI model you're most curious to try after watching this. Or if you're already using one of these, share your experience. I read all of them, and I'm genuinely curious what's working for you. If this breakdown helped you understand the AI landscape better, hit that subscribe button because I'm going deep on each of these models in upcoming videos. I'll see you in the next one.